Hello and welcome everybody. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Magma Blade. First, a quick shout out to Control Alt Delrith over on Twitter and YouTube for uh, giving this weapon a bit of a shout out since it was underutilized and a bit of a low key sleeper. So props to him. Definitely go like and subscribe his channel. Now the Magma Blade, it is a curved sword. You get it from the Volcano Manor. It has a Magma Shower ability, which is what you mainly use for the crazy amount of damage. It's fire base. Uh, you need strength, dex, and faith to be able to wield it. And I'm gonna do a short showcase of uh, what it does in PvE. First come to the schoolhouse classroom Grace in the Academy of Rhea area. From that Grace, turn around, go through the doorway, up the pathway to the left, past the mob and get on the conveyor wheel and make sure you get on the platform after it spins past you. Now, before I continue with the video, I do have to say that this is going to trap you in the underground area in Volcano Manor, meaning you will not be able to fast travel to a nearby grave. You will have to kill one of the two bosses to unlock a grave to be able to fast travel again. So effectively, this is soft locking you. So I would come in here at soul level 80 or at the bare minimum 75. I'm using a faith. Hybrid caster build, so it's a little bit easier for me. With all that out of the way, you're going to want to drop off the lift, and there's going to be an Iron Maiden that's going to come behind you. You have to make sure that this Iron Maiden grabs you and kills you with the grab in order to get teleported into Volcano Manor. He has to grab you and kill you. Once you reach the Volcano Manor, you're going to have to roll through a lot of lava to get to a safe area. So I recommend you putting on any kind of fire negation gear and allocating your flasks accordingly to drink a lot as you roll through. Before you get to the lift, there's going to be a snake soldier at the top of these stairs. Be sure to sneak by him and let him pass before you get to the lift, because he will hit you and kill you before you actually hit the trigger. One last thing before you get to the Godskin Noble boss fight, there is a knight on the top of the stairs. Be sure to roll and dodge him so you don't take any additional damage because you're already running low on flask because you have to roll to the lava. Also, one more tip, the knight will do a fire attack like you see on screen. So do not stand by the fog door. Make sure you roll to the left or to the right to avoid it. Now, the other way how to escape the Volcano Manor is for you to fight the dual Iron Maiden boss fight, which is going to be straight from where you spawn in.
before you drop down, there's going to be a grace up the stairs and to the right. So make sure you roll past all the enemies and grab the grace before continuing. This is the boss location of the Double Iron Maiden. If you are a caster, I do recommend you head to the rock on your right when you fully walk in. It's going to be in the back. And there's a spot you can get into where only the Iron Maiden with the, uh, I guess, blades. He's the only one that I've seen that can hit me from on top of the rock. The pinwheel Iron Maiden could not. So if you are a caster, that's going to be your best bet to trying to deal with these guys. You can use your summons here. Uh, you can also... Uh, Use a, a spirit summon as well. Melee characters, good luck. Uh, I, I have a rough time fighting these guys' as melee, and there's two of them. And when they both hold aggro, it's going to be pretty rough if you're a melee character. So probably fighting Godskin might be your only way to get out of here, uh, since there's only one guy in the room. This is how you unlock the shortcut. Those of you guys already have it. Skip to the timestamp on the video to get to the spot where you farm these guys. I will mention that there is an Iron Maiden before the lava that you need to avoid, and he will chase you through the lava, so be careful about him. Once you get to the ladder, be sure to peek over and see if the lizard man has walked by. Once he does, crouch walk to the right till you get to the shortcut. Make sure you kill the guy in the corner with the big head because he will grab you and one shot you. From the Temple of Eagle Aid Grace, make a left, go through the door up the lift from the shortcut that you hopefully unlocked. Be sure to kill the big head guy on your left, he's hiding behind some boxes. Then you can either go right or straight from the lift to kill the Magma Blade Lizardmen. And they will drop the Magma Blade that you see in my hand right now.
Once you are done killing both lizard men, jump off the ledge to reset, rinse and repeat till you get the blade. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you end up do finding the magma blade through this video and you absolutely love it. And what other weapons have you found in Elden Ring that you think I should cover or show how to find? With all that being said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.